more housing in cities. The Spatial Planning Act aims to stop the progressive urban sprawl in Switzerland and requires the parsimonious use of land. Although the authorities limit the growth of settlement areas, they're not bold enough in dealing with settlement densification. But this is the only way to create more housing where it is needed, close to work and everyday life. Thus, urban sprawl continues to increase. And that is why there are traffic jams on the roads and overcrowded trains. This is a problem because the cantons and municipalities hardly weigh up the public interests. Moreover, the effects of spatial planning are rarely determined. These are mainly mobility and its greenhouse gas emissions, but also the high land consumption and rising real estate prices. The public gets little of this. Although they can participate in participation procedures, they're not informed about all the contexts and impacts, and often at such a late stage that they can no longer exert any influence. Another problem is that so far there is nothing that requires the authorities to enforce the Spatial Planning Act. The inadequate spatial planning becomes particularly sensitive when construction projects are to be implemented. It is precisely because of this deficient spatial planning that they become contestable and can be prevented by neighbourhoods. However, the building blockade caused by planning could be solved in favour of sustainable spatial development. This would be the case if we were actively involved in the participatory procedures for guideline and land use planning and asked the following questions. Have the public interests been weighed up? Have the effects of the planning on mobility, greenhouse gas emissions, land consumption and property prices been determined? Are the constitution and the law fully considered and enforced? Every contribution counts. More information is available at www.10-minute-neighbourhoods.ch